All right, hello everybody. This is gonna be my advanced tutorial for the things you can do in chapter six once you start getting good. Uh, first off, I guess you can drop down here pretty early to keep some more speed into that kick glitch. It's kind of hard though, and you usually don't get it even if you kind of try. Oh, you can't grab it from there. Whatever, point being that you can like make the kick already take you quite far here and then you can just sidestep way to the left out of it. All right, uh, another thing right at the start, you can do a nice kick glitch on that and vault this thing. Then what you can actually do is uh, a thing called speed vault boost, I guess. And so the vault will actually keep you in the kick glitching speed. So if you just instantly jump after the vault is done, you'll keep a ton of speed. And you can carry that into a wall boost there, which will make you go quite fast. That's quite nice. Even if you accidentally get a straight kick, it's not too bad. You can just, like, not jump on it and then just vault the railing normally. Right. Uh, I have a tutorial explaining the normal way of this. Essentially, you just look a little bit to the right of this corner, run with about max speed, and once the third pillar there is right at the end of your screen then you jump and that way you should pretty much land there it depends a little bit on the spacing between your jumps though and can be this trick can be really annoying but the other method that I'm gonna talk about here is one that I don't even use in runs which is the lamp jump way I'm gonna be linking the other one which you probably want to be using but I don't know, somebody might want to learn this lamp thing. Uh, so, similar jumping timing. I look at the third pillar there. You want to be aiming straight at the lamp. And instead of coming at an angle like this, you want to be right around the edge here. Aim at the lamp. Jump, jump. Aim at the lamp. Jump, jump. A little bit earlier than that. There we are. And then what you can do is sidestep side step off of the lamp. This is more like a chapter run strat though, like... You don't really see too many people doing this in normal runs. It's actually not that difficult. But it can be quite annoying. And I guess the thing is that it doesn't save much time at all. Probably be the reason why people don't do this. Right, so the next advanced thing is doing the kick glitch method here. Basically, how that works is you kill all the speed you can, get into the war, and as late as you or relatively late. You can do a little bit earlier as well if you want. And then you want to stay on the war run for almost as long as you can. And. That's basically it, just get into the war run super late and stay on it until right before you would be dropped off. And you also might, like depending on your PC, you might have to pause afterwards. So kick glitch, coil, and then... I mean, you can just mess around with this for a while and figure out if you need to pause or not. But yeah, kick glitch, and then coil. And then either pause or just don't pause. Looks like this. Right, so you land like right here. And then you can like jump around here. Uh, the next stuff is gonna be a little bit later on. So just wait until I get there. Oh yeah, I guess I should... Or I could talk about this as well. So what I like to do is because I have a free scroll mouse, I just scroll the button up 
and the cargo lift almost instantly disappears from there. God damn it, that's loud. Right, so once the cargo lift is passed, I try to like slow vault this fence, land right about here, and then if you time a roll correctly there, you'll get a roll. And what you can do out of that roll is actually just sidestep to the left. And that way you don't get an animation there, you don't get anything, and you start going off to the right quite fast. The thing is if you get a fast climb or you don't land this correctly, you're not gonna be getting it. And yeah, if you don't roll from close enough to the edge, the sidestep will just get you stuck in the vent. But it's quite cool though if you get it like that. It's pretty fast. Right, so the double wall boost here. Uh thing about double wall boosts is that the way they work is you wanna stay on the second wall for just a little bit. If you try to like free scroll it, that'll always happen. Like if you insta sidestep or wall boost again, it won't allow you to turn your momentum properly. So just do the first wall boost, wait until you see yourself clearly hit the wall. You can even like just wait on it a while. And yeah, what I usually do is I don't aim too hard at the walls. But yeah, just something that they should work just fine. Gets you to about... 50 kilometers, 55 even. Right, so what I usually try doing here is uh, angling myself so that it's just about 45 degrees. Getting a kick glitch on that and trying to get a wall boost afterwards. It's uh, pretty tricky, but usually if you don't get it, you still get like the kick glitch. Although this hallway is kind of weird, it always, it doesn't like, let you kick glitch properly sometimes. But yeah, there, I got some nice kick glitches in the wall boosts. Like so. But yeah, I think this hallway kind of kills a bit of your kick glitch at least. Because the ceiling is so low. But yeah, there I got up to about 55 or was it 59 kilometers an hour? Then the last thing is this springboard and what to do after it. Uh, the way this works is that you want to be looking a little bit to the right of this. So you can look at like, look at the text here that's about where you want to be looking maybe just uh just in between the text and there works as well then when you when you get here you want to kill a little bit of your speed so you're just moving at it like at a speed like this then at about this line in the wall you want to press jump and then keep it straight until you have all the height and then turn pretty hard to the left so you get the climb up. And yeah, if you get too close, or if your angle is wrong, you'll vault that. All kinds of awkward things, or if you try to turn to the right, left too early, you'll just get this wall run here. So just keep looking straight, and turn later. So out of this, what you want to do is sidestep here, sidestep here. Uh, you can kind of try and hug the wall a little bit so that doesn't happen to you. Then again, with this just sidestep, you can hug the wall a little bit as well. After the sidestep, you want to get into a wall run. And you want to stay on it enough that the kick turns. Then you want to instantly wall boost on this wall. That way you'll get keep some of the angle that this kick glitch had. Which was, which was like going this way. If you instantly wall boost on there, it'll like kind of still try to go that way. 
spots and that way you land on this wall and on this wall you want to stay in the warren for just a little bit and then boost out of it it's the right so it should look like something like this or not some more speed just like that just like that just like that. Then what you can do afterwards... Uh, because you kind of land here. Doing the normal save thing is sort of awkward, but you can do it as well. It's just kind of slow and awkward, yeah. What you can do is run to the very end of this vent. You want to kind of like almost be dropping off of it already. Then jump. Then again do the kind of kicklish thing that I've talked about before where you turn your camera hard into it once you're on it and you can actually get like a real kicklish on it because this vent is way higher than this vent so you can get a real kicklish in the wall boost out of that as well which is quite fast why are you getting scared there But yeah, this one just feels pretty natural to do after the... Man, I got taste, man. It feels pretty natural to do because you land right about here out of the wall boost. And yeah, if you get the real key glitch in the wall boost, it's quite fast as well, like 55 again. Ugh, some awkward crap there. And another thing, if you get on the zip line, look hard down left. Once the once the ledge of the building uh, goes past the middle of your screen, you can hit drop and save some frames there. It's unimportant though, but you can try that as well. Uh, that is it.